Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is August 25th of the, um, I don't know, August Legal Day Challenge, the study plan. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about uh, today's forum, if it ever loads. My computer's a little slow. I don't know. But yeah, hope everything's okay. Uh, long weekend. I just came back from running 10 miles, so that's why I'm a little bit... Uh, tired as you can see so uh, my apologies if anything but uh but yeah it was oh, excuse me I'm getting a little bit of hiccups but it was a good uh, long run uh, but now I am ready to rest anyway let's take a look at today's poem we have 498 diagonal traverse uh, given a, a grid or sorry a matrix we turn them away of all elements in diagonal order okay uh, I mean, there are a couple of ways you can think about this for sure. Um, you know, there are really only two diagonals, right? Um, so that's the first of it, uh, first things first. Um, there's the diagonal where all the x plus y is the same, right? And then there's all the diagonals where x minus y is the same, right? Uh, maybe I'm a little bit lazy today because usually I draw that out. Uh, feel free to visualize that and uh, okay fine, I'll just do it why am I so lazy sorry I'm just really tired <laughs> uh, I literally just ran 10 miles I had a protein shake but I have to eat something uh, uh, but it's like 1 a.m because I don't know my 10 mile run took too too long slash I started too late uh, I am a dummy but uh, so I need to figure out what the food situation is but anyway and my point is that in a diagonal uh, and this is something that's good to learn, uh, definitely. I mean, because well, except for whatever reason, diagonal comes up often in competitive programming. Maybe not as much as in um, or in interviews. Maybe not as much. But basically, you know, you have all these cells, and there are only two directions. Right? You have th this direction. I mean, ignore the, the the arrows, but just like that diagonal, right? And then the other one is obviously just the other, uh, this way, right? And you could do it every each way. And the idea here is that uh, one of them, for example, here, uh, you know, uh, in yeah, let me change the color real quick. This main diagonal in the middle, if I drew it correctly, this main diagonal in red, uh, x is equal to y, right? Which is which is another way of saying x is minus y uh, is equal to zero, right? This one is going to be. Uh, similar but x minus y is equal to negative one maybe uh no no this is just one right the other one is x minus y is equal to to negative one and that's kind of the way to think about it right the, the, and all the numbers for every x and y where um it's going to be that's going to hold right that's the invariant for that thing and then the other one is uh x plus y right for example uh mm, yeah here, the, the first one, x plus y, is going to be equal to, I guess, if, if it's just 0, right? Because it's just 0, 0. Uh, and, and yeah, and then this is all going to be x plus y is equal to 1, and then dot, 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 right? You could kind of draw it out now. Uh, I mean, I could probably go in more detail, but, but that's kind of the visualization that I, you know. Uh, and once you realize that, then now you have to figure out, so, so maybe that could be the sorting order, right? Like, let's say you have an array. Um, and you want to sort in in a way you're just trying to sort by these things and of course you have that diagonal I mean I think my 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 camera's mirrored but you get the idea I don't know which way I'm going maybe the other way I don't know it's very confusing but you know what I'm trying to say for me it's the right direction so let's say you're going um, the diagonal that they're showing you um, that's gonna be x plus y right and so that then you could already sort by that right because then now the first Diagonal is x plus y is equal to zero. The second one is x plus y is equal to one, and so forth. And of course, you have to set, um, sort in a secondary kind of way um, by um, you know, depending on which diagonal it is, right? Um, if it's odd, uh, if it, well, the first one's even because x plus y is equal to zero. You could say it's an even diagonal, and then x plus y is equal to one. You could say it's an odd diagonal, and then you can go. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just an if statement in that sense, right? Because if, um, because in one case, you want 
You want to sort by X, but in one case is in one direction, in the other case is the other direction. So you certainly could do that. You put all the matrix numbers in an array and then you sort it that way. Um, probably that's going to be N log N unless you sort it in a funky way, um, which maybe there is. Um, but if you just do like a lazy, you know, comparison based sort, that's going to be N log N, right? Okay. And then after that, um, yeah. But you can probably do a little bit better. You could do, just do a little walk, right? Maybe you could do a linear walk. Well, what would that walk look like? Honestly, I don't know. But also, why is my computer so slow? I typed some stuff. Is my computer crashing? Is this is this recording? Hopefully, this is recording. I'm not like losing frames. Give me a second. Let me uh, let me kill some background process. For example, why is something running? What? Why is there? Um, Hmm. I don't know why there's like a five gig plot. There's there's a lot of things running in my background, including Firefox, and I'm afraid to kill it because they might kill this. Uh, so for now we'll be uh, we'll see. Oh man, my mouse is. This is the. Uh, I I don't even know if you can hear this or, or it's gonna like chop out or chunk out, but uh but if you can then you know this is what happens when you. I don't know. I need more RAM slash. I just need to like. Kill some stuff. I don't know. Like what? What? What are you doing, computer? I don't even ask you to do that much. Uh, sorry, friends. Uh, I mean, it's frustrating. Frustrating for me. Um, maybe you, you're okay with it. Maybe you're not. I don't know. But my point is that you could do a linear traversal. If you could hear me, okay. Hopefully you can. I mean, I, I cannot tell until the end, um, because then now you just go by the diagonals, right? Um, yeah, and maybe that's the right way to do it, right? Because um, then now you, you have a relationship, as we said, the relationship x plus y is equal to some um, d for diagonal, and then you just go from d is equal to whatever, d is equal to from 0, 1, 2, dot, 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 and then you just loop from x is equal to either either from small to large or large to small, and, um, and then y is just d minus y, right? So, uh, d, well, y is equal to d minus x, but you can express it either way. And that's basically it, right? So let's, let's go add to it uh, fully, right? So th what's the max d? Max d is going to be equal to... Uh, this typing is so slow. Sorry, friends. Uh, R plus c minus 1. Right? Uh, and and that's just like me looking at you know this this one and then you have you know you have two two is it plus one or minus one? No 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 it's minus one right it's three by three. Um the corner is gonna be diagonal five right? Yeah. Is it? No because x plus y is gonna be four so. Oh. Yeah okay. I mean I I guess max is gonna be four. But you have five diagonals as well. Maybe that's what I meant. Uh, okay, maybe I make them more clear now. Uh, and D for N that is D, right? And then now for D in range of N D, we go... Um, <sighs> sorry, friends. My, my computer's lagging hard. Right. What are you doing? Give me, give me a second again. You could use this opportunity to see if you can uh, beat me in time. <laughs> Maybe doing it my way. Uh, what are you doing? Why not 1.8 gigs in Node? Like what is Node? Am I doing Node.js somewhere? Why would I be knowing in Node.js somewhere? It is very confusing. Am I getting hacked? Uh, let's see, let's kill it. I'm trying to think where, where that could be. That I, oh man. All right, uh, am I a little bit faster now? Testing, uh, maybe, okay. My apologies, uh, but yeah. And then now we just, we could do it either. I mean, you could probably write some clever one-liner, but I'm not even going to, right? 
I'm just going to write if it is even, then we go x from left to right, right? So then now we just go for x in range from, um, hmm, is it just to d, right? d plus 1 maybe, right? Um, so that's x, and then y is equal to d minus x, as we talked about. And then we just go away dot append matrix of um, x, y, right? What, what happened? My computer just like froze for a second. Was that okay? I don't know. I don't even know if this video is going to come out because there's so many. I don't know what my computer is doing. Anyway, all right, we'll see. And then anyway, uh, yeah. And then if else, then you could do, you could also do it the other way if you want to go like Y from, <laughs> if you just want to be clever, you could say, okay, well, now we're going down this way instead, right? Um, uh, and then yeah and then we are good maybe uh, maybe it's off by one it's very easy off by one um hmm d is zero this is gonna go zero zero okay um hmm d is four it's gonna go zero four. Oh, oh yeah that's not right i mean it's right for the first three diagonals but it goes out of bounds for the rest right uh how do we check that Hmm. I guess we just check that y has to be, um, hmm. <clears throat> we, have to, we have to basically bound x and y, but, uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, you could do an if statement, but then it will be very sloppy. <laughs> Uh huh. I and mean, I think this is mostly right, but I, I mean, I'm trying to be a little bit clever and I'm trying to be a little bit clever. -er. That's the problem with clever solutions is that if it doesn't go well, you have to be even clever -er to debug it or fix it in a clever way. Um, hmm. Which is why I try very hard not to be clever, but um, I don't know. All right, so this, if D is 0, 1, 2, if D is 3, it goes x is equal to uh, y is going to be zero. One uh, x is going to be four. Also, I think I did this wrong. I think x y I it was zero. No, I think this is right actually. Uh, but zero, so this is zero four. No, no, no. But I, this this is wrong. I think. No, yeah, this is wrong. I don't know why. I, I, don't, I mean, the, just directionally. I mean, the, the, it doesn't fix the other thing, but this is also wrong directionally. Um, I thought I could do it this way and it'll be cleverer, but no, it all they both both the numbers go down. Actually, no, I just mixed them up. I think. I think this is here and this is here. Uh, I mean, this doesn't fix our issue, but. It's slightly more right, I suppose. Okay, yeah, uh, and then now, uh, yeah, now we're correctly going zero four, right? And zero four, of course, is our bounds. So we have to bound x by you know, we have to put r in here so, or c in here somehow. Oh uh, well, um, I guess this can only go up to min. It goes only up to r. But it also has to start from uh, it's either zero or some sort of like um, d minus c or something. What's d minus c? Uh, no, that's still wrong. Um, what's d? D is four. Uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, C is going to be 2, so it starts at 1, right? So X is 1, hmm, what does it think it needs when it crashes? Uh, 0, 3, still 0, 3, so this thing is not working, or at least I'm not working it right. 3, 
this is three c is oh c is also three so i think this is this plus one well technically it's c minus one but yeah uh okay but yeah uh, i don't know this is just definitely too yucky but hopefully it works Uh, why did I? Oh, whoops. Okay. Usually I call it answer. So today uh, maybe I'm just wrong. But yeah, looks okay, right? A little bit wonky. Took a little bit of thinking. But uh, I mean, and all that is just working backwards from. Um, yeah, it's still pretty slow. <laughs> uh, it's just working backwards from. Uh, 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 yeah, the numbers, right? Because you just look at this and you just try to figure out where you can and I cannot go. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for this one. Sorry for the computer problems. Hope y'all have a great week, everybody. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.